Here's 20 insanely useful tips and tricks that most players don't know you can do in Rainbow Six Siege. Send this to your friends who are copper so they can stop throwing your elo and learn some easy tricks to get better. Without wasting any time, at number one, you can actually open up a hatch if there's a soft floor next to it with Ace using two Selmas, even if it's Kated. Throwing one Selma on each side of the hatch will open it 100% of the time, no matter what. At number two, you can actually create one-way angles using Capitao Smokes, where if a defender is standing in it, they cannot see you, but you can see them clear as day. This is because their face is being covered by the smoke. This is super useful for executes and getting free kills when you're playing ranked. Number three, you can hide valve cams inside bushes on a few maps that have them by placing a camera on the wall and then throwing a second cam on top of it so it falls inside the bushes. Defenders will never be able to see these and you can get some useful information out of it. Unfortunately, this only works for the smaller plants and not the taller ones that are on these maps. At number four, there's four different footprints with jackal tracking that represent different operators, as well as different colors that represent how long it's been since the footstep has been made by that operator. If you can remember these, it'll be a lot easier to get information for you and your team with without wasting your scans. At number five, knock actually counters alibi. So if you're using your ability and shoot or walk through an alibi clone, your location won't be revealed and you won't be detected by the enemy team like normal. This is useful when an alibi player will put their clone inside a window so you can't jump in without being detected. Number six, you can actually make a full wall soft while using ace by throwing a Selma at the very top of a reinforced wall and another at the very bottom. Obviously you could just open a hole normally with ace or bring another hard reach, but this is still useful information to know. Number seven, lots of people don't know that you can actually destroy a Rooney Gates with the Flores drone without your drone being destroyed. If you send your drone in and set it off before it hits the gate, you can actually destroy the gate and anything on the other side of it for a nice two for one, saving you a flash grenade or one of your drones in the process. At number eight, Mira can actually counter hard breachers. Yes, you heard that right. If there is a thermite charge, Havana pellets, or a hard breach charge on the wall, you can put up a mirror on the other side where it is and destroy the gadget. This is an insane trick that'll probably piss off some hard breach players and make them not want to breach the wall anymore. Number nine, you can melee frost mats and legion mines to make much less noise and to get some free entry kills fast. Obviously, you could just shoot the frost mats or mines, but meleeing them makes much less noise, not exposing your position or that you're near sight or the enemy. At number 10, you can open up a wall or get the utility off of it that is banded or cated by placing a thermite charge on a soft floor next Next to it. This will open up the wall feet level and then you can shoot the charges off the wall and reopen it or just use it for some pressure. And speaking of thermite, at number 11, you can actually open up a wall that is muted with thermite. If the wall has a repel option on it, you can repel up to where the thermite charge is just out of the radius, place the charge on the wall and open up the entire wall. No more worrying about going under or bringing EMPs, just repel up and open the wall normally. Number 12, when you are Finca boosted and you walk into smoke's gas, you will die significantly faster than if you are not Finca boosted. This happens because Finca's boost gives operators adrenaline, which increases health and movement speed as well as how fast they're breathing which ultimately means they're breathing in more of the smoke faster and you'll die quicker at 13 alibi actually has a passive ability that affects all teammates when she is chosen whether you are scanned by the enemy or not when you run outside your operator will always be shown as a question mark so enemy players won't know which operator is outside this is a super interesting passive that siege has had on alibi for a while that people just don't know about number 14 this might not be common knowledge but with the new shield update this season you can actually one vault windows and doorways with shields like the kool-aid man for some quick entries or rushes for you and your team. It's very scary for a defender watching Blitz come at them like this when you're on defense. At number 15, you can actually get into some window frames on certain maps for some cheeky and sneaky angles. A lot of these were patched last season after being abused by players, and this is actually banned in competitive play in Pro League. But using this in ranked is sure to get you some free kills and spawn piece, catching enemies off guard. At 16, you can actually open up a full wall and make it soft with only eight of Habana's X Cairo pellets. If you put four on the very top of the wall and four at the very bottom, you can make the entire wall soft and have have a teammate open the wall for you after. This is useful if you forget to bring a thermite or an ace and still want the wall open completely. At 17, Capital's fire arrows and Grimm's bees actually fall vertically. This means you don't have to worry about lining up the perfect shot or making sure it's always right next to the opponent's feet. If the enemy's in the general area, shooting the bees or arrows up above them so they can fall down and hit them is just as efficient. At 18, you can actually use his torch on barricades to make a hole big enough to walk through that makes almost no noise. This is good for getting yourself or a teammate in the building quickly undetected for free kills. At number 19, you can place air jabs that are completely silent by putting a punch hole in the opposite side of the wall and then shooting it into that. On the other side of the wall, it makes no noise and defenders won't be able to see or hear it, which means if a defender is flanking, they will almost 100% of the time hit this air jab, which in turn will give you a free kill. And the last and most important tip on this list at number 20 is you can actually get off TikTok during prep phase and help your team set up the site. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you're looking for others to connect with or want to play ranked with me, join my Discord in the description and make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to support my channel.